when it's time for change. When it's time for change. Grandma's porch. Sit down, relax, enjoy. Here on Grandma's porch. When it's time for change. When it's time for change. Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. You know, I got to thinking about this because um, I was watching a YouTube channel. And I've seen that this person um, is, you know, does a lot of live streams and they've kind of, um, they're doing it over and over and over the same way. Now we all tend to do things over and over and over the same way. And that doesn't necessarily mean that we need to change. Okay. But I kind of felt that this person was kind of growing a little tired of the way they were doing it. You know, they had, um, they had been doing it with certain other people. And I think that they were doing it repetitiously over and over and over again with those same people. And I think it was starting to alienate some of the other people as well, because I think some of the other people wanted to kind of be included too. And so my feeling was, is that that, that person, um, whether they realize it or not, may be ready for a change. Now, I don't give advice. I don't give suggestions. I just share with you my opinion, my observations, and what I see and what I think. Um, and so I kind of think that that person is ready for a change, but they're kind of stuck the way they're doing things and they're doing it over and over and over again. But I think that sometimes people become dissatisfied. And when they become dissatisfied, often becoming dissatisfied is just simply a symptom that we need to change. What may have worked before is not working now. There's something that's out of alignment. And, you know, we're always growing, we're always changing. And just because something really, really, really worked wonderful before doesn't necessarily mean that I need to continue on that way. Sometimes we need to produce change in our life to give us new energy, if for no other reason. And we don't want to alienate other people in our lives. And sometimes um, when we only include certain people and sort of make them stand out, but none of the other people stand out, sometimes that can um, you know, disengage other people from wanting to hang out with us. So we've got to remember that we want to make other people feel welcome and feel important. And so anyhow, getting back to that YouTube channel, I think that YouTube channel is wonderful. And you know, one of the things is we're always changing. We're always growing. And sometimes dissatisfaction will come prior to change. Now, not always, if we're, if we're really on top of our game and we recognize when it's time to make a change, then likely we're not gonna be dissatisfied. But sometimes we create in our own selves that feeling of dissatisfaction in order to push us on. Because sometimes change is necessary. Sometimes we get stuck in a certain way of doing things. Sometimes we hang out with that same person at lunch over and over and over. Every couple times a week, we go out to lunch with the same person. Nothing wrong with that, if that is what is working well. But sometimes we need to add someone new. Sometimes we need to add someone new into the mix, um, you know, add them to the lunch or maybe switch off and go out to lunch with someone else. That's not to say that the one person we went out to lunch with, um, we don't want to go out anymore. That's not saying that at all. It's just saying that sometimes we need to add new fresh energy so that even when we go back out to lunch with that person, we have a new energy to give to them because remember much of our energy we get from other people and if we're in the same groove over and over and over and over we're not bringing in new energy so 
I believe in bringing in new positive energy and I believe that sometimes we're ready for change. From my house to yours, I hope you like, share, subscribe to all five of my channels. The links are pinned to the top of the comment section below. If you connect with me with all five of my channels, I will likely connect back with you with all five of my channels. So may God bless you and from Grandma's Porch to wherever you're at, I hope to talk to you soon again. Bye-bye. to relax and a place to enjoy.